hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make uh, something called pecan tasses. I came across these uh, a few months ago and I uh, made a note to myself that they would be ideal for serving at Christmas. They're just a very small, maybe two bite treat uh, pastry with a uh, pecan mixed in with uh, some eggs and butter and such and sugar. And they're made in a mini muffin tin, so they're very small. The recipe is very simple and easy to make, and it doesn't take too much time. I think uh, within the hour you could have the whole thing done, really. So, uh, I'll go on to the ingredients. And for the pastry, I have 110 grams, which is two-thirds of a cup plus one tablespoon of plain flour. That's based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup. I have 100 grams, seven tablespoons of cream cheese, 100 grams, seven tablespoons of unsalted butter, which I've softened. I have 25 grams, two tablespoons of sugar and a pinch of salt. I also have 100 grams of pecans, which I have ground uh, quite finely just by pulsing in the little mixer bowl of my uh, immersion blender and I was very careful not to go too far because they, it would all turn into a paste. So that's for the pastry. And then for the filling I have uh, two medium eggs which would be large in the USA. I have 200 grams which is uh, one cup of uh, light brown sugar and that's packed light brown sugar uh, in one cup. I have 28 grams, two tablespoons of unsalted butter which I have melted. I have five millilitres, one teaspoon of vanilla extract and I have uh, 75 grams of pecans which I have uh, chopped into pieces. Um, roughly chopped but the pieces uh, quite small. So that's all the ingredients and we'll go on to make the pastry. And I'm going to do this uh, in my, um, in a larger bowl with uh, my hand mixer, but you could do it all by hand if you wanted to. So I'm going to put the butter in and the cream cheese and then I'm just going to uh, mix those together to get them combined. And that's good enough, took no time at all. And then I'm going to add in my sugar, my salt, the ground pecans and the flour. And I'm simply going to mix those until they come together into a dough. And that came together quite well. It's going to be quite sticky. So I'll just scrape my mixer whisks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about this much dough, which is about 22 grams, 21, 22 grams, and I'm going to put it into each of the muffin um, holes.
and with that uh, dough in the holes I need to press that uh, around the sides and to do that I'm going to try it with my dibber but as I said this is very sticky dough so I'm not sure how successful this will be if not I will use my finger basically I'll do it with a finger just so that you can see. Just by dipping my finger in some flour it stops it from sticking. So with those in the uh, mini muffin tin, and I used flour on my finger to make sure it didn't stick as I was shaping them, I'm going to put those into the fridge and I'm going to chill them for 30 minutes. And while they're chilling, I'm going to preheat my oven to 190 Celsius. That's 170 Celsius with a fan, 350, uh, sorry, 375 Fahrenheit. And when they've chilled for 30 minutes, I'm going to put them into the oven and bake them for five minutes. Um, and that's just so they start to take their shape and they will puff up a little bit and I'll press them down to make the well. And at that point, I'll be ready to put our mixture in. So we'll go on next and we'll make the mixture. So as the oven is um, preheating and the uh, pastry is chilling, I'm going to put my sugar, eggs, melted butter and the vanilla extract into a bowl. And I'm simply going to whisk those together. And that's all I need to do with that and I'm going to leave that until we're ready to go on to the next step. So my oven has preheated and the uh, dough has chilled in the fridge in the mini muffin tin so I'm going to put that into the oven now and I'm going to bake it for five minutes and then once it's baked for five minutes I'll come back and show you what I'm going to do uh, to make sure that the, the well is still there. We'll fill them uh, with the, the filling and the pecans and then we'll bake them. I've baked the uh, cases for five minutes and uh, as you can see the outsides are baking and the, the centres have risen a little bit so what I'm going to do is I'm simply taking a small device, you could use your finger, and I'm going to pack the base down using a little bit of flour just like that and then I'm going to pour my mixture in and I'm going to pour it in um, until it's about two-thirds full 
and you don't you won't need very much mixture And then, with uh, the mixture in, I'm simply going to take the pecans and drop them in the top. And that will be about three grams of pecans on each one, basically. And so with the pecans on the top, and uh, I've managed to get about three grams, which is about a teaspoon into each one. I'm going to put those into the oven and I'm going to bake them for about 18 minutes, 20 minutes until uh, the filling rises up and it will rise up because of the eggs. It will then sink again a little bit once it comes out of the oven, but it will rise up and cook through and uh, the pastry will cook and colour nicely. And once that's happened, I'll take them out of the oven. I'll allow them to cool for a few minutes and then I'll take them out of the uh, muffin tin and I'll come back and we'll have a taste. I baked the pecan tasses for uh, 20 minutes and they turned out quite nicely. I took them out of the oven. I left them in the tin for 10 minutes then I just picked them up individually and put them onto a wire rack. They came out of the muffin, mini muffin tin very easily. So uh, this is what they look like and they have baked up quite nicely. Now one thing I should say is I have um, some mixture left over and so I think I will adjust the recipe when I put it on my blog um, to reduce the amount of sugar by half in the filling because that will um, still bake up nicely and be nice and sweet but there won't be so much uh, excess liquid wasted at the end. So um, this is what they look like and as you can see it's baked nicely on the bottom as well. So I'll have a taste of this one. Mm. It has that lovely pecan flavour, obviously, and the crunch from the pecan. The pastry is crisp as well, and the filling is soft inside. Um, as it, that's still a bit warm. As it cools down even more, it will get slightly stickier or chewier on the inside as well. So uh, these have baked up very well. They're very easy to make. I hope you've enjoyed the recipe. It is one that would be quite good coming up to Christmas. Uh, and if you have enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen, there would be an I that you can click on and that would take you to a link for the recipe. And I'll put a link below the video as well. And I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.